Hi everyone, meteorologist Bill Rentschler in the 1011 Now Streaming Studio, uh, taking a look at the forecast. Uh, as we head into the upcoming weekend, it's cold, but it's fairly quiet. Things get a little more interesting, though, as we head into the week next week. One, because we're finally going to warm things up. Temperatures going to be climbing back up to at least near normal for a lot of us as we head through the week, the week next week. You can see temperatures, uh, again, very cold Saturday, a little better on Sunday, and then again, we're checking in generally in the low to mid 30s through a lot of the week next week which again for mid to late january that's about where we should be there's even some 40s and even 50s on the board in the forecast though and if we look at the long term uh towards late next week and into the following weekend uh so again temperatures finally going to be warming up a little bit so hopefully we can start to melt off some of this snow if you look at again sort of the mid to long term uh, forecast again actual numbers here but if you look at the climate prediction center again good chance uh, for above average temperatures across the region this is the six to 10 day temperature outlooks. This takes us from January 25th through January 29th. So again, in that time frame we just showed you there in that 10 day forecast. So again, above average temperatures, but also above average precip chances as there's going to be moisture surging northward from the southern plains into the central sections of the state. Right now, longer range models though kind of have the eastern half of Nebraska on the western edge of that precipitation so that's something we'll want to watch closely as we head over the next couple of days so again as always stay tuned for updated forecasts as we head through the upcoming weekend 8 to 14 day temperature outlook this actually takes us through the end of the month and the first few days of february again also has signals for above average temperatures uh, again across much of the region as well so again we're kind of warm things up eventually here and then we'll kind of keep things warm here from the mid to uh, long term in the forecast it also tends to dry things out and favors below average precipitation through that time frame across the state and across much of the central and northern plains so again forecast uh, cold Saturday, but then things start to warm up through the week next week. Could see above average precip again through the seven day time frame. But then once we get again late next week uh, into the following weekend, things do dry out just a little bit. So here's a look at that precip chance forecast as we head over the next 10 days. Again, through the weekend, I think it's generally dry, 10% or less for any precip chance. But that precip chance will pick up, especially Monday through Thursday of next week, and predominantly for the eastern sections of the state. Like I mentioned, the the storm track next week favors, uh, again, sort of the eastern half of the state for chances for moisture. Again, so you can see in Lincoln, we're talking 40% chance Monday, 50% chance Tuesday, 60% uh, chance uh, in Fall City uh, for Monday, 40% chance on Thursday for Fall City. So again, the eastern sections of the state are going to see, again, the best chance for moisture as we, I think, as we head through the week next week and if you look at again the longer range models both of them the american ngfs models again fairly similar in their storm track uh, as again so several rounds of moisture will be possible this is the european model again beginning sunday night at 10 we're dry through the weekend but starting sunday night at 10 again as we head into monday morning you can see moisture begin to kind of surge northward out of the southern plains so as we head through the day on monday especially across eastern sections of the state we are going to be looking at a chance for moisture with temperatures though right around that freezing mark this could come as some rain it could come as some snow and there is the possibility that we could see a little bit of ice uh, with this as well and that will be the, the the forecast as we head through much of the week next week with those temperatures right around the freezing mark so again we had monday into tuesday again wintry precip a mixed bag of precip possible across the eastern sections of the state uh maybe a little bit of a brief break there as we head through the day on tuesday but then again as we head tuesday into wednesday you can see more moisture surging northward into the region and again we're just right on the western edge uh, of all of this if you look at the forecast for areas to our south and just to our east again they could see an inch or two of liquid precipitation as we head over the course of the next week it's just going to be the eastern half of the state that could maybe see uh, a few tenths to maybe a half an inch of moisture as we head over the course of the next week again this is into thursday night again far eastern nebraska maybe a little bit of a rain snow mix maybe some ice mixed in there as well and then things tend to dry out then as we head towards friday and then into uh, the upcoming weekend as well so again um Forecast remains a little busy as we hit over the next couple of days. Cold again into Saturday, better on Sunday, and then seasonal as we hit through much of the week next week. But with those, again, possible multiple rounds of moisture across the region and, again, potentially multiple precipitation types as well. So, again, whenever we have a forecast like that, uh, again, that's definitely one where, again, we want people to check back and make sure they're up to date with the latest forecast. But, again, this is just kind of the first look, one of the things we're keeping our eye on as we look at the forecast over the next week to two weeks. So, again, as always, keep it tuned to 1011 both on air and online. We'll always keep you up to date with the latest.